Man, ever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. Yopo. You are once again welcome to Pen Dream TV, the only channel that brings you the best and latest updates in politics. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more updates, like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment after watching or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number, which is 0277-128-777. Show it on your screen as well. Thank you. Today, I want you to join me listening to what Richard Jagba, the agent supervisor for the NDC, have to say about the election or the mechanism they have put in place to mark the EC and the MPP boot for boot to prevent them from rigging the election. Thank you. So they began putting in that mechanism in place. Mm -hmm. And I decided to replicate it to pass on to all the printing houses. I realized that they were doing the same. They were shredding spoil ballots and sheets without counting them. Okay. For you to know the amount of extra that they used to replace these spoils. Yes. Okay. And what was left over? What was left over. Okay. But at the end of the day, it must all sum up to the 500 sheets, the 3,000 that you printed for your printing house operational losses. Okay. Not the easy 2% adjusted figure. No. I hope you get a difference. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Good. Because the reason why I was... Put, I put these measures in place was that, is that when they print the ballot from the printing uh, machine, the ballots are, the sheets are semi-life. Okay. Semi-life in the sense That's that, yeah. in the sense that all the security codes mm -hmm. are on it. The watermark, all security codes are printed on it. Everything except the serial number. Oh, Okay. Because it's a different machine that will do the serialing. Okay. And some point. Okay. So once it is printed, everything is on it ready. So it's semi-life. Mm -hmm. Once they print the serial number on it, it becomes live. Okay. Ready to go for voting. Okay. Do you not understand? Uh -huh. I understand. Okay. <coughs> so the assets that they print are semi-life. Mm -hmm. Only waiting for to be the serial yeah, number to be put on it, then it's gone. So, if they steal the semi life, which is the SS, mm -hmm. they pick 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 of the sheets, you times it by the rows, you know the number of ballots they have stolen. That is missing. Okay. So, when they steal the semi life, they will hide it. Mm. When you are done with the whole printing and the EC is gone, and this is gone, all the agents are gone, and everything is gone to the pooling, uh, the constituencies, nobody will pay attention anymore to the printing company because you are done with them. Okay. But those semi life sheets that they were able to steal from the SS that you were not meticulous, you were not, you didn't pay attention to they can always take them back to the printing house or take them to any printing house. They will just put serial numbers on them and they also become live. And can be used. And they move them to their, they don't to, to their region, to that particular region, turn print and wait to send them to the, uh, to the police station. And when we get there, I'll tell you how they do it. Hmm. Yeah. So to forestall that or to reduce that, it starts from the printing. How you manage the SS, they must account for it. For Everyone. Ev every single sheet okay. or every single ballot must be accounted for before they are shredded. I hope you are getting yes. it. So, for now, that is the agreement we have with them. For and now, that's what is happening. They are going by happening. that agreement? No, yeah, they are going by That's what is happening. Okay. And that makes the MPP agents, NIB, National Security Pool, uncomfortable. It am um, appear. Because I'll see something and I'll have to devise a way to okay. deal with it. But, but that should be easy because you're supposed to have to, to, to always be on the same page in terms of how things are done to make everybody comfortable. Yeah, but when the printing companies are economical with information and they are not forthcoming mm -hmm. with the figures, you need to find a way out. 
and now we know all the SSs in all the printing houses. All the SSs in all the SSs they are printing, we know all. Even Gone. the days when they did not give you the information, you can account no, for now all they are giving all. Okay. Now all the pooling is they are taking all the agents, they are taking all the print board figures. No, I'm asking because you said they were you had to wait for days to No, that get. was initially. Okay. But after the protests and pushing and we had challenges and misunderstanding here and there, mm. things have not settled. Okay. We are not on the same page. Things are working fine. Okay. And in fact I want to commend Bock Press. Okay. The Mr. Bockman and the gentleman, they were very cooperative. Okay. Because they didn't say they didn't know what was happening in the uh, down there mm -hmm. by their printing people. They didn't know until I drew the attention. And they didn't protest. In fact, they were happy about it. So they asked, Buck, Buck Press in particular, they asked their production manager to take me into the machine room okay. for me to inspect all that they are doing. For I may see something that I'm not comfortable with. So the whole thing went with me to their printing press. We went through everywhere, even to the vault where they'll be keeping the completely the uh, completed uh, ballot paper, uh, ballot uh, booklets, mm -hmm. where we'll be doing the final bargain and send them to uh, the regions. Mm -hmm. That is the vault. We call the vault. They took me there. So I went around all, and then when I got to their vault, I saw a security. Concern. I, had a, I saw something that was not right, so I prompted them, mm. which they would deal with it. Okay. <coughs> they or they have. Well. Or they promised to. Well, they would they, they would deal with it, but then it's not that much of a serious threat. Once okay. the surveillance is can be dealt with, okay. dealt with. So because of all this, I told them that look, you know something. Your security cameras, your CCTV cameras, mm. which covers every operation. When we finish with the printing and we have to send the final certificate, we will demand for a copy. Okay. Right from the time the printing started to the end of the printing so that we can audit. Because you see, in 2020, mm -hmm. the pooling agent, the, I say pooling, the, uh, the agents for each party per shift were two. Oh, okay. Two for afternoon, uh, two for morning, two for afternoon, two for okay. overnight. Okay. Because they are, they are human beings. Mm -hmm. One may be going to the, uh, uh, to the gent. Mm -hmm. to, no. One may be going to urinate. Oh, no, do any other thing. And there must be as a backup. That has always been the case. Mm -hmm. But this particular election, the EC decided that they were going to give each political party only one agent per shift. Room for one agent. One for agent per shift. Why? Did they explain why? No, I don't know what happened. But then we'll get to that. Okay. Later, Mr. Kisi gave me the reason. Mm -hmm. And you, you really see that there's something wrong. So you realize that when you enter the printing house, the printing machines are huge. Mm -hmm. There's a place for the printing. There's a place for the serializing, uh, serialization, numbering, which are also different machines. There's a place for uh, uh, where they do the binding, the cutting, the sorting, the stitching. They are all different, different, different places okay. in the same huge building, okay. depending upon the printing press. Bulk press is huge. Mm -hmm. So different places, even where they do the sorting and the binding, it's in a, a different floor okay. up the building, okay. uh, uh, first of, floor. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So now you have only one agent per shift. Who is supposed to monitor all that? How is it possible that such that one agent will be monitoring the printing Serializing, Hello, cutting, stitching, sorting, binding, which is in a different floor. Virtually impossible to see the game. Mm -hmm. So that single agent will be mentally stressed. He will lose focus. Okay. That is the intention. And to and they were very smart in the sense that. You give all the political party only one agent. Mm -hmm. Then they bring in two national security operatives. Okay. Two NIB operatives to be inside the printing house. Okay. And you and I know that those are government apparatchiks. So the government indirectly has got five agents in the printing house. 
You, you're suggesting that the NIB and the national security operatives would necessarily be working for the MPP? My brother, you see, let's be very realistic here. The stakeholders for this election, NIB, which, is, which was for, formerly BNI, and national security, they have no locus, they have no place there. Yeah. It is easy. The printing houses, the political parties, and the police. Yeah. These are the four institutions, entities that are involved in this printing. NIB, nations, they have no local, they have no place there. Okay. But because they came with this plan to reduce the agents so that they can mount stress on our agents, they won't be able to monitor everything. And that will create the loopholes for them to be able to steal some of the SS sheets, mm -hmm. the semi-life ones. And that's why initially they weren't giving the figures. Are you getting my point? Yes. Now? So to to uh, uh, put us at a, uh, against the odds, they decided that, okay, now let's bring national security and NIB. They'll be sitting down there. When you told say, so, oh, it's security. But you and I know very well that the first point of call when it comes to any of this is the police. Mm. And surprisingly, the NIB personnel and the national security they've put there, they have no names. No names. No names. They've just printed a, ta a, a laminated tag, hang on their neck. National security. Finish. No picture, no name. So you can identify them. And they are inside the printing house with only one NDC agent per shift. And they are four. Two national security, two B, uh, NIB, plus the MPP agents. Five. Serving the same government interest. Because the government is MPP. Let's not pretend. Government is MPP. Mm. And so, they want to stay in power. So as far as you're concerned, you've counted five agents. Five! For the new patriotic party. Yes, By five. the arrangement. Yes. And you see... <coughs> There's no way they are going to national security to bring permanent staffs to come and do this work. Mm. And the reason why they are not putting their names so you can't trace them. So even in the event that they are engaged in any activity, illegal activity there, all that you can do is to describe him. And so we don't have such a person in our outfit. Mm. They can easily remove the tag from his neck. Or you can, every day they can even put a tag on another person's neck. And the person can national security. Mm. So I told them that this is not it's unacceptable because the police have their names conspicuously written. Okay. They have their service number. So you can hold the person responsible. You know who you are dealing with. Okay. But these are people, national security, BNI personnel, or NIB you may call it. You can identify they don't know who they are. Okay. And they are there. So now this is a game. So if an NDC man is standing at, uh, let's say, the printing, where they are printing under constituency, mm -hmm. and is there watching, they are doing serialization in a different machine, in a different place, maybe about five meters away, and there are other machines blocking him. Mm -hmm. They are doing cutting in another different place. They are doing stitching in a different place. They are doing sorting. They are doing binding mm -hmm. in a different floor. He wouldn't know what is happening at the binding. And you see, the more the, you are going, the more the security concern rises because once it's from semi-life and they put a serial number on it so it becomes life then they are going to cut into ballots they are going to do sorting stitching binding those are the places you must pay more attention to but here's the case the man is only one so you see that one national security man is standing by the our agents and most of him when our agents are moving they are, the national security personnel is following him okay and the question why are you following the, our agents around so they are monitoring you so whilst you are watching, they can give signal to their other colleague that, okay, his focus is here. Then they give the signal up. Then they can do whatever they want to do on the other side because you are not there. So they will be playing you around. I hope you get the game. Yeah. yeah this is the game on the ground. So they've thought and planned this properly. So the odds are against us. Five against one. Five against is one. what you count. So that's what I counted over there. So you can see that the Electoral Commission, Mr. Kisi, who is in charge of that particular aspect, they sat down and thought it properly that instead of two, let's reduce the agents to one and say one for all political parties, level playing field. 
but will bring national security and NIB people to complement. You're so saying this is intentional, intentional from the Electoral Commission? Intentional. So that they will mentally stress that, one, that single agent of the NDC. And they can play their games there. Because the rigging starts from the printing house. That's where it starts. It's not in the, on the, uh, the campaign platforms talking. and No, no, no. It starts from the printing. That's where the rigging starts. So I guess you've drawn, you've drawn the EC's attention to... So I confronted Mr. Kisi. And I told him, why are you doing this? Why are you stressing our people? Because I've, gone, I've entered the printing houses. And the places are huge. So many machines blocking everywhere. And the process is in different phases, in different de departments. Even though some of the printing presses is within the same building, but segmented. I hope you get my point. Mm. Some other printing houses, you may have it in two separate places. Mm -hmm. So I think, like you see, let's be fair. 2020, there were two, and they've always been two. Why have you made it one? Then you told me that, oh, it was a convention, but it wasn't right. And I said, if it's not broken, why do you want to fix it? That it was a convention. It was a convention. It wasn't law. And to him, it wasn't right. And that the place would be crowded. So the the place will be the printing house will be crowded. He's reducing the he's reduced it to one one. And I said, oh, so your concern was that the printing house floor will be crowded. That's why you reduce it to one. Then say yes, because the place will be crowded. And I said, okay. So if you are reducing to one, what are BNI and National Security having two 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 from National Security, two from BNI per session per shift day? They even have more personnel than the stakeholder, the political party. <laughs> Do you understand my point? Did you explain? So, what crowding are you talking about? They've brought four per shift. And they are not creating the crowding. But it's a political party that is supposed that you that was having two, 2020. And if you maintain the two, that will create crowding. What you are saying, does it make sense at all? But did he explain the presence that's why he, that's of, why he of told national me. security and NIB operators? But he said that one is not within his domain. It's not within the no, domain? No, it's not within his domain. So is he suggesting that the Electoral Commission did not request for these personnel? No, because they are not part of the game, so they can't request for them. They only request for police. Police are those who handle it. National security and NIB, they have no business in this ballot printing business. They have no business there. What are they coming there to come and do? They don't have any business there. So that is why when they are there, the attacks have no names. So you're suggesting that even the EC person who is supposed to be in charge of this, you said his name is Mr. Kisi. Kisi is saying that he does not; he, it is not within his purview as to no, how as to the, the national... deployment of national security NIB. No, that is not his, 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 his work. His own is that he has given one slot for each party to reduce crowding. As again, twenty twenty two 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 two, and crowding was his issue. And I'm telling you, yes, we are talking about crowding, but here you have four being brought by two from NIB and two from National Security. That is that not crowding? Is it not defeating your reason why you reduce our number and stressing our agents in so many phases of this printing and thereby creating loopholes to exploit? So it has been nicely crafted. I hope you understand. Yes. Nicely crafted. They are very smart. I understand that, but if you're concerned, how did you resolve that? Yeah, so this is what I told them. I said, mm. okay, that is your prerogative. You have them. The law gives you the right to exercise your discretion. Mm. <coughs> but this is, these are my countermeasures. Just as I, I, I just explained to you, mm -hmm. every single sheet will be accounted for. And when we are done, before we sign a certificate of completion or destruction at the end of the printing, we will have to order the, the CCTV footprint, CCTV, uh, 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 video, to be sure that nothing untoward happens at the blind side of our agent, since our agent will be mentally stressed and cannot cover all the areas, the faces of the printing, because it's one human being. Now, when you come as a supervisor, you stay at the reception or outside, you don't enter the printing house. The Yourself when printing. you go. Yes. That's what that the law Kisi has put in place. That's a rule. You don't enter there. So that at each point in time, is only one agent there. Okay. Now, when you come, and the plan is that, oh, when you come, 
you send for him. The security will go in there and go and call him to come out from the printing and come and meet you outside in the car park or the compound. So if you are to stay there for 20 minutes or 10 minutes for him to brief you of what is happening there, it means that NDC has no representation inside the printing house. You see how smart they are. Ah, you see what's bad there? Mm. Then they will say, oh, it applies to all, all the, the, the political parties. One MPP also, supervisor comes, he will call the, the agent to come out. Yes, he will come to come out. But they have NIB and national security still inside the printing house. So you see how smart they are. Did you not anticipate this? Well, when the proposal was put in first that you're going to have only one instead of two agents. Well, I wasn't part of I'm not part of the IPAC. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm not part of IPAC. I was brought in to go and supervise agents. And when okay. I went, because of my skill and expertise, I was able to detect this. Okay. And I was able to read the mind. Because, I, I, you see, you must think like a criminal to checkmate a criminal. Uh -huh. If you go there as a prim and proper, and you there, you are going to go by your, uh, 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 your man of conscience, and then you, your, everything is like a religious man. That game is not for you. You must think like a criminal. That's the only way you can crack that your puzzle and checkmate them. So as soon as I got there and I saw that, I knew what they were about. Mm. But they always say, oh, it's one agent for everyone. But then they have national security and IAB as addition. So as soon as your agent comes out, the whole printing house there is free for them to do whatever they want to do. To come and brief you. Mm -hmm. And if your agent also goes out to go to the gent, to go and urinate or to go and eat himself, the place is free. Do you understand my point? Mm -hmm. If your agent has seen something and he wants to come and inform you, he has to leave the printing pr uh, operational room where they are printing, come out to the reception, come and pick his phone, and then come and call you. That time, the place is empty. You don't have any backup. Are you understand the whole yes. thing? If he wants to eat, you can't eat uh, in the operational where they are printing. It's against the printing rules. So you have to leave there and come out to come and eat. So all the time that agent will be eating or come to drink water, they do whatever they want inside. They can do whatever they want inside there. So you see how they've sat down nicely to craft and create loopholes <laughs> to exploit later. <laughs> That's not my point. Mm. That is the game. It's a game of minds. It's not a game of muscles. Mm. And that's what they've done. Mm. So as soon as I arrived there, you know, I detected all. Okay. And I knew what they were about. So I started putting in measures to plug that. So you still have one agent there? We still have one. I've protested. I've made it clear to the East. And I said, okay, you don't want to change. We told them, you don't want to, you still want to maintain the one. I don't have a problem. But we'll audit your CCTV. From the time the printing started to the end, before we sign any certificate of completion. CCTV? Yes. So you want the surveillance? Thing. We want to see. I want to audit all. That for the past, for the three weeks that the printing will be taking place, we will want to audit it to know, to, to find out whether anything happened behind our agents or the blind side of our agents. That must be done. Before we sign off? Oh, yes. You see, my brother, you must understand, the stakes are high. So you mustn't, there's no gentility in this game anymore. Because you are dealing with people who are so smart, that you can see that they are determined not to play by the rules. But do all these places have CCTV cameras? They are CCTV. So I told them, we don't want any game that you tell us that, oh, we had a problem here, our CCTV camera had a problem here, we off the machine, we didn't know, and I said, no. I also have CCTVs, a lot of them. So I know the days that your, your CCTV, your recording can last and all those. So I've, I've made it clear to all the printing houses, especially Checkpoint and Buck Press, where they are printing Eastern Region and Ashanti sure. Region. Yeah. I made it clear to them. We will audit your CCTV because you cannot handicap us with only one agent and, and, and expect that we will just come and sign off. So your CCTV cameras are covering 24 hours. We we'll audit them. We we'll write to EC and request copies and go through it and be sure that not a single excess or nothing was printed or hidden. 
I hope you understand yes. my concern. I get it. So these are some of the reasons why they are not comfortable with me. Mm. 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 They are just not comfortable. But on the matter of the national security mm. and the NIB, beyond confronting the EC over it, have you tried to find out who actually deployed them? Oh, no. But a national security NIB, they can't be deployed without their heads. It's, a, it's an institution that is uh, well-structured, you know, restructured. So, But one thing that really... Uh, I had a confrontation with the national security okay. at checkpoints. <coughs> I think three or four days ago. Mm -hmm. you know, I got to the place to do my usual uh, supervisor work. Okay. As soon as I, my car, I just entered into the car park. You now, then I was confronted by two national security operatives at checkpoint. Mm. That oh, orders from above, we are not to allow you to enter. Really? Yeah. Then I said, orders from who, who above? They said, oh, from our bosses, that you and I said, by the way, who are you? Then they showed me the attack. And I saw national security. And I said, young man, for from national security, say yes. And I said, okay, go and tell Kandapa. The I Japa, I'm saying that he has no locus here. The only stakeholders here is the police, electoral commission, the printing house, and the political party. National security is not a political party. So you have no locus here. So I will not obey your orders. I'm going to do what I came here to do. And you can't stop me. And don't dare touch me. So go and tell your boss. I said, I will not obey their orders. So whoever told that I cannot enter there, I will enter. So you had a small com commotion there. And then one electoral commission man came. And so, but the man has got accreditation. So. You so this, this, this was not an, odd, an order from the Electoral Commission? No. So, the, so he came in, so he had an accreditation. So the police also came in. And then he realized there was nothing he could, they, they could do. And I had made my, I had given them cogent arguments. I made it clear to them, you have no locus. And everyone there agreed with me. And I said, in any case, you, your, your, your tag that you are, where they, that your laminated tag has no name. So who, who are you, by, by the way? I said, just look at it. There's no, you have no name on it. You have no picture on it. So I don't even know who you are. And this tag that you're hanging, or rubber tag you're hanging on your neck, anybody can print it from any, any uh, 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 what, uh, cafe or any uh, 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 company can just print this and hang it on your neck. So if you say you're a national security, show me your national security ID card. They couldn't show me their ID card. Because your ID card will really have your picture and everything, which is a rare and national security ID card. You don't have it. You've gone to carry this laminated in no name, nothing, and you are standing there telling me that you receive orders from about that I shouldn't enter there when I have an accreditation. The only place I cannot enter mm. is the printing room. Okay. Where my agents are. That you're not allowed to enter. That's where I'm not allowed because the EC said supervisors cannot enter there. And I've told the reason why. They want to just leave one person there to be stressed. You still insist that that is yes, the intention? Yes, that, no, that's the intention. You see, you must be able to read the minds of criminals. People with criminal intent. You see, you need to, you, you, suspicious you need to belong to the world I belong to to understand what I'm saying. You belong to a very a world that things are structured, <laughs> they move nicely, and you, you can say, oh, this man can't do this. I don't expect him to do this. But where I belong to, no. Not at all. And that is the motive. I was asking whether you're not being overly suspicious. No, not overly. You should be asking, why do you reduce it from two, reduce from uh, two to one? And you'd rather have four operatives from the government. And knowing very well, the government, MPP, is the government. MPP is the government. So let's let's not uh, play around with this. It's, it's, to me, it's a very serious issue because I know the ramification. So that is why I am very, very wild on them. And I'm making sure that every single sheet, every single ballot is accounted for. So now, they will call, my, they will call the agents, they will count the spoiled ballots before they shred them. 
so that you don't create a situation where last day they printed 500 sheets. They do so, it's left with uh, 100. Then you ask them, why are the other 400? Oh, we shredded them. Why? Because they were not counting. So they can add anything instead of shredded. And in reality, they've only shredded about 50 and they've squandered about 200. It's gone. I want to avoid that. So those, those were to your, to your, the main concerns you've had thus far. Oh, yes. And whilst I started putting that measure, they became uncomfortable. And that's why they didn't even want me at checkpoints. And that's why they are printing Eastern Region. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So I must be concerned. Why are you, you not allowed to enter the printing room to observe, to see no. exactly what is happening? That's something. That is the reason. That is the, I, I've just explained to you their modus operandi. Plan with the EC and Mr. Kissing in particular in charge. That's the reason. How can you reduce us from two to one and say that a supervisor who the omission and commission of his agent in the prince are, he is responsible for the omission and commission of his agent. Mm -hmm. Me, the one who is hired are my agent, that I have to supervise his work, whether he is sleeping in the printing house or he's fraternizing and he's not doing what we sent him there to do inside there. You said, I cannot enter there. I should stand outside and call him to come. So you don't understand the reason. I see. That's the game he's playing. When you tell us, oh, you see, supervisors were not involved. We just made a discretion to just add some exception to add the supervisors. But it's supposed to be only one. But that's the game. So you must also find a different way to still frustrate them and prevent them from achieving their aim. So after putting in all your measures, at this point, are you comfortable with what is going on now? At least. Well, as of now, at Buck Press, so far, so good. In fact, as I told the, the, the Mr. Buckman and the general manager, they are very cooperative. Okay. They are very cooperative. Okay. I must be very honest. Mm -hmm. It is checkpoint that the general manager was playing that game. Okay. Madam Hilda was playing that game until I escalated the issue and it got to the owner of the company, checkpoint, mm -hmm. and he came in. And one other issue that we've been having a problem is the plate. Okay. You know, to print the sheets, they design it, the, the EC gives them the data, okay. the information, that is the, the pictures and all those security data, they give it to them. And then they input it in their computer, okay. into the printing machines, mm -hmm. and from which they generate a plate. Okay. And on the plate, they print the sheet. The sheet is put there to print. Okay. I hope you understand. Yes, I understand. So when they finish printing the, the sheets, you still have the design mm -hmm. on the plate. Okay. Which can be put back in the machine and print at any time. Okay. So the print, this plate is very crucial. So after you've printed the EC figure and adjusted 2%, and your excess of 3,000 ballots, mm -hmm for operational losses why are you still keeping the plate that's a question i ask them i said the plate must be defaced and destroyed so that you don't print any semi-life sheets again so destroy them because you've created over about three thousand SS for your operational losses so you have no reason to still be keeping the plates then the, the owner of Checkpoint, he got my argument. He said, Japa, you have a legitimate concern. He doesn't understand why 3,000 SS for the printing company's operational losses, which is a lot, and you are still keeping the plates, which is a security risk because it can be used to print again on the blind, on the blind side of my uh, agent. Uh, so the man ordered the general manager to go and destroy the plate immediately. Then she went and came back and said, oh, she needed some ink to, uh, chemical to deface the plate, and that she wasn't having it. The man said, okay, take money. The man gave him money, gave her money. Go and buy the uh, chemical, and come and deface it and destroy it. Not knowing that she was buying time, immediately they informed the MPP supervisor, who drove and came to checkpoint. 
When he came, said no, they can't destroy the plates, and started creating commotion. But had have they not had they not finished using that plate? Long ago, and they finished, and the constituency have they've gotten the easy figures. In fact, the constituency have already been cut and binded into booklets, okay. and they've gotten the figures. So there was, and they've gotten the figures, and they still have excess mm -hmm. of over 2,000 and something ballots still there unused. Oh, okay. So I said, if you have that, why is your reason for still keeping the plates? And the owner of the firm agreed that it should be destroyed because it didn't make sense to him too. But that was uh, uh, a decision from the general manager, Hilda, and the MPP people refusing to destroy the plates. Did they ultimately destroy it? As I speak to them, they have not destroyed it. I'll explain, I'll get to that. So, they didn't destroy it because they created commotion. And then the letter commission rep over there said, okay, he is going to inform Mr. Kisi bosses and get directives. And I said, okay, no problem. So the following day when I went there, the directive that came to EC is that they shouldn't be destroyed. They should keep them there until they have finished all the region, uh, the, all the constituencies in the particular region before they are destroyed. In fact, initially, Mr. Kisi said they shouldn't be destroyed. They should keep them there until EC has done the bargain and the ballots have gone to the regions oh. before the place should be destroyed. You see, that man is a bit diabolical. Very, 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 very subtle. So when I said no, so when I said no, that cannot be. They cannot, the EC cannot send the ballots to the regions before the place are destroyed. What was his reason for him? His reason being that when they get to the region and they are checking, maybe there may be some losses and maybe they need to print again. And I said there can't be losses because you have 2% hmm. booklets extra on top. So what is your reason? You have 2% as easy booklet on top of the figure you need for that constituency, for contingency. Unless you are telling me that there's some, when you, when you keep them, there's some grass cutter that comes to chew the, ball, uh, the, the booklets. Or water poured on all the booklets. It doesn't make sense to me. So as you speak now, those please. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Mm -hmm. So I protested. I said, no, that's not possible. That will not be allowed. So now they decided, okay, the place should be destroyed after a region's, uh, they finish with all the constituency in a region. Mm. And the, uh, the, the booklets have been backed ready to be escorted to the region then the place should be destroyed but my issue was that they should be destroyed after each constituency okay because when you finish and you get your figures and you get your excess your extra two percent and there's still excess for the printing house tape and use lying down there you don't have a ring to keep that constituency's plate which can be used to print again which is a concern for me okay they rejected that they now said for the whole region so, if it's Ashanti region, 47 constituencies or so, you have to wait for them to finish all. So, now what we do is that now the agents are documenting all the plates. Okay. Okay, we've used six for this constituency. The next they will use four, you add them. So, you have to be handing over to your next shift. So, you can keep track of them. And they should be placed at where you can always see them. That's the measures we put in place. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand. Mm. And that is working so far. Okay. Because so when they pass here, you have to go to pass other angle. But that's extra media. work for your agent. That's extra work for the agent. So you can see that it's deliberate to stress the man mentally. You are checking to be sure that nobody steals a plate. You are checking to be sure that the serialized, when they are doing the serialized, they don't go beyond the, the figure. Mm. They are cutting. You are there, you must be there. They are stitching, you must be there. They are binding, you must be there. They are sorting, you must be there. They are counting to package them the number to go to the vault, you must be there. When they go into the vault and they are packaging it, you must be in the vault. You one man. In different parts of the firm. Although some may be in the same building, but in different places where you go to this room working, you can't see the other side. And it's only one person. So this is deliberate. I see. It's deliberate. You know, so this is the difficulty we are facing over there. Mm. But you can see that 
their attention and their focus and their concern is more on checkpoints and book press. Those are the two printing houses that they are mo most interested in. Interested. And their national security operatives are hostile towards me. In those areas? In yes. those two printing houses? They are hostile towards but, me. But don't they have national security operatives in the other printing house? They have them at their printing house. But they know where they are targeting. And it's only these two printing places that you have the 500 sheets extra, which culminates into 3,000 ballot papers. Have they reduced that subsequently? After you, you, you noticed it and drew their attention? Well, Buck Press, I was there when he instructed them to reduce it. Mm -hmm. I've gotten the print, print board. Mm -hmm. I'm here to do the calculation to see where they've reduced it. Okay. But for checkpoints, they are maintaining the same 500. But we just have to put in measure to make sure they account for every single sheet. Hmm. Is it not too much of a coincidence to be cast today that your two strongholds are printing 500 sheets extra as contingency for the printing, printing press, assembly ballot papers whilst all the other places are doing 200 or less? Nominations, while printing of the legislative and that's the point I was coming to, what your conclusions are, what your suspicions are, what your suspicions are. The first batch of ballot papers received from the printers are being sent to early voting centres around Australia and Because they have somebody who is steps ahead of them. Others would be used to restrain postal votes to those who would be everywhere and you have only one agent like yeah, yeah, we know, but then as I'm saying, we'll go to the CCTV opened. footage. South even Australia's though we know that the CCTV footage may not be foolproof, mm -hmm. because even in the, at the EC's office, they have CCTV, yet machines got missing, right, at the EC office. Okay. So we had CCTV footage at the police headquarters, and yet cocaine, uh, cocaine tend to concontain. Mm. So <laughs> the track record is there <laughs> when they supply in government. So so <laughs> you can't you can't really trust them with this. But you just do your best. <laughs> you do your best, you know. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you gotta do your best. I said I was going to do attention once again and thank you very much uh, for making time to join us. Uh thank you for staying tuned. Pen Dream TV really appreciate your time. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so for us. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment after watching or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number. It is 0277-128-777. Thank you. I come up, I'm in the Now, so far, so good. Say so, open okay, online portal, a work Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have been doing TV.